I watched one Formula 1 video about why rich people drive around in circles and now YouTube thinks that I'm in love with Max Verstappen. I know this is a ridiculous problem to solve, but I'm a developer and this is how we process emotions. So I decided to build my own recommendation algorithm. And this got me thinking, what if I could build something better than what YouTube has? But what does better really mean? I thought a bit more and then I realized, what if I created something that recommended me videos based on what was going to inspire me instead of what was going to make me keep scrolling longer? No more random F1 interviews that I wasn't really that interested in watching in the first place. No random Andrew Tate videos. I don't even know why I'm on that side of YouTube. No Hayley Steinfeld and Michael B. Jordan's chicken wing challenge, although I did watch that one like multiple times, so that's not the point. And if this doesn't work, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to watching F1 videos for an hour a day because I have zero self-control. So the stakes are real. Let's get on with it. Step one, the build. I need to find the good stuff that YouTube is hiding from me. I built this modular system that searches YouTube directly via search queries using the API, which was surprisingly easy to set up and the system searches for high quality tech content using strategic queries like coding tutorial, million views, algorithm, visual programming. And I'm going to use Python for this. I know it's not my usual programming language, but it's a lot easier to do machine learning or data analysis with Python. And it's also too late to change now. Everything gets stored in a SQLite database because if I'm going to over-engineer a solution to a minor inconvenience, I think I'm going to do it right. This is normal developer behavior. So now we're able to get videos from YouTube using code. That's step one. Step two is gonna to be to teach this thing my ratings and understand what I like and dislike. I basically wanna create an AI clone of my creative taste. This is what my computing degree has led to. I need to teach this thing my taste. So I'm gonna go on a rating spree. I'm opening up videos, seeing if I'll be into them and then rating yes or no with some feedback. Like certain videos I really want to watch and tutorials, I'm not really feeling it. Behind the scenes, a random forest machine learning model is analyzing patterns in my ratings, video durations, view counts, keywords, and also the sentiment of my feedback. It's building a mathematical model of my creative taste and hopefully it learns over time based on the more ratings I do. I just rated like 50 videos and something beautiful just happened. It started to actually recognize what I want, visual programming, creative projects, and finding content that actually inspires me. And I feel like it's getting better than what it was in the beginning, but I just keep getting so many tutorials and I don't want tutorials. I'm looking at my code trying to figure out what am I doing wrong? Is the random forest machine learning model not the right model to use in this scenario? Am I not using the right search queries? Am I not using the right features? There's so many things that could be wrong. And then I started to look at my raw data. It's just a bunch of rows. I have all of the videos that I rated. I have my feedback and it's quite a bit of data. If only there was a way I could analyze this in the form of a dashboard. That's where Chat LLM's Deep Agent comes in clutch. The today's sponsors and honestly the perfect tool for this exact problem. I've worked with Chat LLM multiple times. I love their Deep Agent as well. Usually I've used them to build apps in the past, but today we're gonna to use them for research. I exported my database, which contains all of the tables of videos and my ratings for them. And I asked Deep Agent, what patterns do you see in my video preferences? And it's quite funny because there were quite a few revelations that were new to me as well. I thought I understood my preferences. I thought I knew what I liked and disliked, but after seeing the way that I was rating things and the analysis that Deep Agent did, I was like, oh, damn, there was some new learnings from who I am as well. First revelation, I'm apparently anti-tutorial. Despite being a developer, I had a negative 8% correlation with tutorial content. This was something I kind of knew, but I didn't know that it was that low. And the weirdest part that I learned was that higher video counts actually correlated negatively with my preferences. Apparently I'm drawn to niche content over viral hits. And then I asked Deep Agent a crucial question. Should I change my search query array? And Deep Agent replied, yes, in the enthusiastic AI form that they usually do. My basic queries like coding tutorial million views was fundamentally wrong for what I wanted. So I completely rebuilt my search strategy. Instead of generic queries, I'm now hunting for AI project showcase, creative coding experiment, machine learning build. 
stuff that finds creators showing off weird projects. Like I actually found this really old video where AI learns painting and art from four years ago. I mean, it's really, really cool. And it's also really nice to see how AI evolved over the years. I don't know, this is the kind of weird stuff that I like to watch and that I feel that I'm actually learning stuff from. So that's what I want to be recommended. And this video got 823 views. I don't care about the views. I just want to watch it. Just because other people think it's not interesting doesn't mean that it's not interesting to me. I'm happy that the algorithm now understands my flawed preferences and knows how to find them better. Okay, now it's time to make this thing look less like a terminal from 1985 and make it look a lot nicer, which should be easy because I'm going to use AI now for the views. I had this weird idea where I wanted it to look just like YouTube. In fact, when I was building this, my partner came by and he even said that, wow, why does your YouTube look so weird? And I was like, oh yeah, it does look like YouTube, doesn't it? And that's what I wanted. Currently, there's two features that it has. Each video is going to have a match percentage. And I'm going to add like and dislike buttons directly in the UI so we don't have to do everything in the command line. Okay, look at this thing. It's beautiful, it's functional, and this is what happens when developers have way too much free time. This whole video is like over engineering shit. <laughs> I did something else. I created another tab on the screen, which is called MyTube, because I don't know, it's kind of cute. And this is going to be all of the videos that the current model thinks that I'm going to like for sure. Because when it asks me to rate videos, so currently I've done about 200 plus ratings, it gives me videos that I might not really like, but it's still trying to understand my likes and dislikes. So that's totally normal. Now, time for the ultimate test. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to rate YouTube's homepage recommendations. I'm going to pick eight videos first and we'll give them each a score out of 10. We're going to have a total score of 80. I'm going to do the same for my dashboard and the, my algorithm and we're going to compare which algorithm performed better, mine or YouTube? Can I be honest here? I'm actually quite terrified. What if I spent hours building something that's actually way worse than YouTube and I should have just stuck to YouTube's recommendations? That's an actual fear of mine. Okay, I'm on my YouTube account right now. I refreshed it and I'm going to pick the first eight videos that it recommends. And um, let's, for the sake of visuals, I'm going to take a screenshot. And then I'm going to do the same for my tube and we are going to add it to Fig Jam and then I'm going to add my ratings here. So let's fast forward that part. Okay, this is honestly quite surprising, but also not really. So let's look at what type of videos YouTube recommended to me. Okay, look at this difference. YouTube is still trying to sell me on F1 content and I swear I have gone in and said not interested multiple times. So I don't know why this is still happening. Why this is recommended to me. I have literally never watched classical music before, but it does have 19 million views. So it's probably recommended to me because it has a high view count. So other people are interested in it, but I'm not interested in this. Now on my tube, we have how to become a great software developer. Definitely a high match. And it was quite right with the matching because I do agree. I'm very, very likely to watch it. Clearly my tube one in this. One thing that I don't like about the videos that it gave me here, a lot of them actually have quite a few views. I mean, I guess other than this one, which has 171k, but that's still a lot of views. So I wanted to start recommending me videos with fewer views as well, because I don't want my algorithm to care about view count or watch time. I just want the content of the video to be something that's inspiring to me. Okay, look, I realized this project is completely unhinged. Am I suggesting everyone should build their own algorithm to recommend videos to themselves? Absolutely not. That is insane developer behavior who would do that. But maybe we should question why we let algorithms inspire us. And a lot of these algorithms, what they're chasing is quite different to maybe what we inherently want. We do end up watching the videos like I definitely do. And that's probably why it keeps recommending me those videos, but it's not what's good for me. I want to be able to get videos based on what is going to inspire me, what is actually good for me rather than what gives me that dopamine hit. And being a YouTuber myself, I totally understand that the YouTube algorithm needs to work a certain way to cater to a wide variety of people. And I totally understand why they do things the way that they do. If a lot of people like a video, it's probably a good video. So then they recommended it to more people. That's how it works, right? You need to get more people to watch more of your videos because that means that advertisers want to advertise on the video more. There is so many things that go on around this. And I also totally understand from the business point of view why the YouTube algorithm works the way that it is. But 
if I have the ability and time and stupidity to build a recommendation tool that actually gives me videos not based on uh, engagement metric or watch count or what have other people liked, then I'm quite happy with what we have built so far. And thank you so much to Chat LLM's Deep Agent for sponsoring this video. Check out them in the link in the description box below. Always love working with Chat LLM. They also have a tool that lets you access multiple models all in one place for a really, really affordable price. So I cannot recommend them enough. It's a great tool. Check them out. And I'm also gonna link the GitHub repo to this entire project if you wanna try it out yourself. And I know this video wasn't that technical in nature because it's quite a complicated concept already that I didn't wanna make it too overwhelming for people who are not that technical. But if you're interested in me going deep dive into the actual algorithm, the system design that I did, I did have to create quite a few flowcharts to make it work. Uh, I'll be happy to take you through that. But let me know if you're interested in that in the comments down below. And let me know if you want more videos like this, like really stupid, unhinged nonsense that nobody really should be building, but we do. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.